Good morning. This is Missy McKenna. I'm with the uh, Skin Team. And, and I'm Colleen Maurer. I'm also on Skin Team. So we are going to talk to you today a little bit about our Immerse Bed. So this is the Immerse Bed. This is our skin surface, our specialty rental skin surface. So first let's talk about who's, what indications there are to use this bed. Our beds that we have in house are therapeutic and prophylactic stage one to stage four pressure injuries. So we do not need to bump up to this bed instantly if a patient comes in with a pressure injury, okay? Some of our indications are if they come in and they have pressure injuries or wounds on multiple planes. So if they have a unstageable uh, stage three, stage four deep tissue type injury on a hip and a coccyx or on heels and hip, something that you can't effectively offload. It is evidence-based at that point to bump them up to a higher level surface than what we have in house. So with that, we would order the immersed bed for those patients. Also, there are specifics, cutouts in ICU um, for specific patients on so many vasopressors and CRT, um, things like that. Patients that are immobile, because of uh, balloon pumps, uh, hypothermia protocol, we try to get those patients on these surfaces as well. The other thing that I wanna to touch on that's very, very important before I forget is this bed, and honestly, all of the rental surfaces that we bring in special, they are all some type of pressure redistribution surface as far as a, a, with a low air loss function. So four rails up, is not considered a restraint on these surfaces. This is a safety feature. There is a carve out in the, the restraint requirements for these types of beds. So we always, always want to have four rails up on these surfaces when we have a patient on the bed, okay? It is safety. It's not considered a restraint. So if you are in a procedure or you need to do x-rays or uh, reposition the patient at all to move them for devices, it is important that we use that auto firm feature. And again, you would hold the button for about five seconds until it beeps. And then hit the auto firm and it will firm the mattress up. At that point, it's safe to roll them. Because remember, if they're on this surface, they're at a, they already have skin issues they're at high risk for, for additional breakdown. So we want to be as gentle with them as possible um, when, when putting devices underneath them. So you can roll them easier or you can use the handles at the top if you're trying to get chest x-ray plates. I'm not sure what they're called, but you can lift them this way to slide the, the boards underneath them and position them that way. If you're, when you're transporting them back and forth, the, when they're not plugged in, all of the air will go out of the mattress. It's okay. There's a mattress, a foam mattress at the bottom that makes it like a transfer card at that point. So it is safe for them to be on this surface when they're transferring. 